Hi guys! Welcome to my vlog. I'm your friendly neighborhood dietitian nutritionist RDN Itang Kapalungan, a registered dietitian nutritionist. Maybe you click in this video to gain knowledge about proper nutrition and healthy living in this midst of pandemic. And as a dietitian, it is my responsibility to give you and explain to you the knowledge I have when it comes to being a healthy person in this time of pandemic. No more talk, now it's time for me to inform you about my knowledge. Maybe you have questions in your mind, right? Like, what is the proper nutrition that we need in this time of pandemic? And how we will live healthy in this time of pandemic? And now, let me answer that. Now, let's talk about the food pyramid. First, is that the food that you eat must be in the food pyramid, namely as Go, Grow, and Glow. Go Foods. Go Foods are mostly carbohydrate foods which we need in order to gain energy. Without Go Foods, we are lethargic and have a feeling of being tired because there is no energy coming into our body. From the words Go Foods, it fuels up and helps us go, go, go and be active every day. Some examples are rice, bread, pasta, and even potatoes. Grow foods. Grow foods are mostly foods high in protein, calcium, and iron, which helps us to build and strengthen our bones, teeth, and muscles. From the word itself, grow foods, it helps us to grow and be stronger. Without grow foods, our body will not receive the right building blocks in order for us to develop. Some examples are beef, chicken, meat, fish, cheese, milk, and many more. Lastly are the glue foods. Glue foods are mostly foods high in vitamins and minerals. It helps the body to fight and protect from infections, bacteria, and viruses, even the COVID-19. If you have enough vitamins and minerals, we can be safe from the spreading virus in our earth. From the word itself, glow foods, it makes our skin, hair, and eyes bright glowing. That's what everybody wants, right? The two examples are the vegetables and the fruits. It helps us to strengthen our immune system and help us away from COVID-19. After eating those kind of foods, one of the major things needed is to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day to stay hydrated to help us and to improve our whole body functioning. Just a piece of advice, every fruit that we eat is good if it is taken moderately, but too much can be harmful and bad to us. After eating those healthy foods, another way to boost our nutrition is the taking of vitamins, namely vitamins C, E, A, D, folate or folic acid, iron, selenium, and zinc, which help us to boost our immune system in a way that they protect us and they fight viruses, bacteria, and infection which can enter our body. But not just eating and drinking right products will help us to have a healthy body in this time of pandemic. But there are also five types of living to have a healthy and lively living during this crisis. First is having adequate rest daily. Mostly all people need about 7 to 8 hours of sleep to maintain productiveness in the days that will come. And for the better functioning of the brain, getting less or too much sleep can affect the brain and can weaken our health. And who wants to have a pure immune system in this time of crisis, right? No one. That's why we should have an adequate rest every day. Second is exercising or having physical activities. This is one of the things we should do to improve our whole body functioning, like strengthening our body, improves our brain functioning, and most of all, helps to protect us from substances that are harmful to us. By the way, I have an example of exercise that I have done in our home. Watch it and try it to have a healthy living in this midst of pandemic. I will put it at the end of the fifth types of healthy living. Third is to avoid using or taking of harmful substances like cigarettes and alcohols which can affect or weaken our immune system. Fourth is a spending time with family and friends. It helps us to have a healthy mental health to avoid stress and much worse depression. And lastly is having time to talk to God. Even though it is hard to go outside or go to church because of the risk of the pandemic, but participating in an online masses can be the way to renew your spirit to God. 
Now it's time to exercise. One of the best examples of exercise during this pandemic is walking or running indoors. It is because outdoors it is hard because of the pandemic or viruses spreading out, uh, outside of our homes. That's why it's better to exercise indoors to stay safe rather than outdoors where you can get sick or you can be exposed to the outside world. So now let's hop into our treadmill. So, and that is the 30 minutes walking and running indoors. Thank you for watching. This is a piece of advice to have a safe and healthy living this time of pandemic. We should follow the health protocols like washing your hands and sanitizing, wearing a face mask, wearing a face shield, and most of all is social distancing when going outside. And that's all. Thank you. Before I end my information blog, again, I am your dietitian nutritionist RDN Ethan Kapalungan saying that ligtas ang may alam. Thank you for watching.